Hello everybody and welcome to Romanceville's Tarot. I'm about to begin here with a reading. Now this reading, though, it might not resonate with everybody, so it really is important that you do take what Ever resonates with you and you simply leave the rest of it aside. If however you do have any questions whatsoever you would like to contact me may it be for a reading or maybe because you have some questions please do not hesitate. My information is right below into the YouTube description box and it will be my great pleasure to assist you so please do not hesitate. Also if you do enjoy the channel you have not yet subscribed please do click onto the subscribe button to show your support to the channel and to myself and it is always and greatly appreciated and I do thank you so very much so with no further ado let's begin this reading so it seems as though spirit has some very important messages for you so let me give them to you so these are either warnings or blessings it could be a combination of both let's begin I have purification with fire I have a lost love and we also have ocean of eternal love so let's start this off over here with purification this is a with fire these are bare essentials it's about the naked truth and about wholeness now what is it that your heart truly but really truly desires what do you perceive is missing in your life right now? In order to find the answers, you have to look inside. You have to look inside your heart. You already know this, but you have been a little bit reluctant to look because a part of you fears what your heart is trying to tell you. So the only way forward really right now is to face your fear. Something in your life is not working out as you would have liked it. And it's not going to get any better unless you have the courage to face it. So you must close your eyes. You must relax. You must imagine a beautiful flame warm in your heart and your soul. Feel its purifying and healing light burning away your fears and your doubts. Healing your body healing your mind and clearing away all of the obstacles either imagined or the real obstacles feel your heart center as an endless space full of only love and light now feel the peace you are safe in this eternal space of light and now what is your heart saying to you when it brings a tear to your eye you are going to know that that is your truth your soul is going to guide you towards happiness and all you need to do is simply follow and trust. This is about listening to your heart and is about following its beautiful guidance. It's telling yourself that you deserve to be happy. You have the power to create your own reality and this is about trusting that all is going to work out just well and that your life is clear of obstacles. Moving on forward now to your following message and your following one over here is lost love. This is about a surrender. It's about healing. It's about a certain release also that is necessary. So it's normal to feel sad when a relationship or maybe a, a friendship ends. Yet this healing message from spirit has shown up in your reading today to let you know that everything truly does happen for a reason. You must trust, you must accept that there's higher forces that are at work in your life at the very moment and that your soul is guiding you towards ever greater love. You may not feel it at present but you are surrounded by an ocean of love and you are loved more than you are ever going to know. There is a little point in searching for answers. You must accept that things are simply as they are. The truth is that what is yet and is also what is going to be like. Really, there are no mistakes is what I'm trying to say. Everything that you experience has its own purpose and has its own meaning. All of it is part of a higher plan in your life. And every day is a new beginning, yet nothing is ever lost for life. And life is an endless cycle. 
So what goes around simply comes around, and love is eternal. Now, you must tell yourself right now that this is about experiencing life, and life has a purpose, and it is meaningful. And everything is simply part of a higher plan, but you must trust and believe in this higher plan. Every experience expands your understanding and appreciation of love. And the truth is what is. And the truth is what was. And the truth is what is going to be. Moving on forward to your following and your final message here today. And we're going to be speaking here about the ocean of eternal love. And this is about healing. It's about creativity. And it is also about fertility. So um, it is said that love conquers all. We've all heard this many times. And this is especially true for you at this very moment. Something is resolved and something is healed through love. What was previously barren now becomes fertile. So what I'm trying to say is a seed is planted and you are the co-creator of it. The conditions, they are completely favorable. The timing is perfectly right right now. So no procrastination of I'll do it tomorrow. What if I do it later on? No procrastination. The exact and perfect time is right here, right now. A new creation is waiting for you. The timing is perfect. The birth of something new is going to bring great joy. It's going to bring great excitement within your life. The forever changing seasons of eternity They're going to turn their invisible will. And a new beautiful beginning of a cycle is going to begin for you. And a new image is going to be born. This is about telling yourself that love heals. Love brings resolutions. Love, it conquers. Love, it creates. Love is eternal. This is all about the ocean of eternal love and healing, creativity, and fertility. So the seeds that you have planted are beginning to grow, bring fruit, and this is what's going to be coming within your life. But it, I do hope that it brought you some interesting messages. If you do have any questions you would like to contact me, please do so. It will be my great pleasure. Um, If you have not yet subscribed, please do subscribe. And in the meanwhile, I wish you a beautiful day. I thank you for being there. And I will see you tomorrow with new messages. Blessings to you.